Melanated gods of earth, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Ramudi the High King. If you're new, consider smashing the subscribe button, the like button, let the algorithm know what it is. Today I want to have a conversation about the enemy continuously reimagining what it means to profit from blackface. In this case, a colonizer leaving the United States of America to come to Africa, put on the caricature of a black woman, an African accent, profit from the isolation of African peoples who don't know Western culture on that level. They don't know what white people do in Western lands. They don't know how they profit from black bodies time and time again. And so while our African peoples continue to celebrate these white peoples for dancing like Africans while profiting from TikToks, in reality, they're making jokes and making money to the detriment of our people where we are the punchline. Observe. And oftentimes, our people who don't know any better happily receive these people. While they are here to train the next generation on anti blackness, how do you leave your comfortable Western land to come and teach your children anti blackness in Africa? That is insanity. Good morning, oh. Good morning, Aga. I look for one woman. Her name, na Mama Thank God. You know I'm. Mama Thank God. I'm Thank God. Wonderful. Why you defy my mama? Your mama they owe us money. Oh. We don't defy her for six months. We never find her. Oh. What she did? I don't want that woman. Not to the bottom money up and down. Oh. That woman not be here, watcher. Follow me. Let's go. Now she be that too. Ah. Oh. Oh, mama Thank God. We don't catch you. Where are our money? Dear man, dear God. Oh. <laughs> you see this big head? Now nah, school fees are we take pay for that money. Oh. What do we hear of this? See, my brother, Oga Papi, when I get vacancy for this your company. Ah, we are on the staff too. Hey. Even some of our staff, they owe the company money. Hey. They suck you. For me, don't look me like that. God forbid. God forbid, I forbid it. <laughs> yes! But what do I know? I'm just a black South African. We've been sharing our country with our colonizers and celebrating white Zulu boys since 1994. But I suppose this is the era where we the youth question these things. What is the value of allowing colonizers who have spent centuries disrespecting our culture and our image to continue playing games of this nature? Thank God. Yeah, man, yeah, God. Mama, 
man go. I said, fair man, fair God go. <laughs> Sexy baby. There is God go. I said, girl, so what's the matter with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here to catch you. I don't mind. Ah. I'm here to go. I'm here to go. Thank you for having me some to that. Go for the issue. Come on. Perhaps it is time they effed around and found out. No more. This is literally blackface. And people are kicking in the comments like he's not mocking our culture. Very weird. I have said it before, nobody can disappoint you like our people. Our people disappoint on an astronomical level. Everything about that video is so wrong, but go and check what they're doing in the comments. Embarrassing. It's crazy how we constantly welcome these people into our spaces, give them platforms and notoriety, only so they can come in and shit on our cultures. And then we laugh at the obvious disrespect. Someone comes in, wears your culture like a costume and makes a caricature out of it and they are in the comments laughing. All these people need to do is speak a little bit of pidgin when not pure, garnish it with some Yoruba or Igbo or any native language, and my people will flock to their page. The same pidgin where without they speak, they come since. Because one Muzungu come now from nowhere, speak them, now you people don't know how to behave. Since colonization, we have been speaking English. Some of us speak French. Some of us speak Portuguese. Some of us have even gone to learn other foreign languages like German or Spanish. But you don't see them flocking to us just because we speak their languages. But when these people just come and speak their pekere, pekere, whatever language that they choose to pick, which is usually like Yoruba or Igbo or something, because those are the trending ones, right? Trending. They're they are, they are taking it like a trend. All of you will flock there to go and validate them. I believe people are going to even look for their validation. I don't know what you people are doing, but it's embarrassing. That one I know for a fact. As for this particular Muzungu, he don't say why I block him and I still remember vividly the video that made me block him. In this video, he was doing this transitioning thing. He was transitioning from and into various Yoruba outfits, right? Yeah, they were Yoruba outfits. And then the very last outfit he transitioned into was a masquerade outfit. And of course, my people were in the comments cheering him on. They saw nothing wrong with that. That video did not sit right with my spirit at all. I could ignore the outfits, right? The traditional outfits he wore in that video, but the Egugu outfits, I couldn't ignore. Because the African masquerade signifies so much in African culture, African spirituality. It's not something that you joke with. But there this white guy was using the African masquerade for content. In my head, I'm like, nah, I really don't blame you. You are getting blocked, but I really don't blame you. It's the people in your comment section that I blame, actually. Because they are Africans who don't even know who they are, not even talk about being proud of who they are. So they don't see your obvious disrespect of them, their cultures, their ancestors, and their ancestral ways as disrespect. So shame on them, but you are getting blocked. For one thing, I will keep going until black people everywhere are aware of the European and the colonizers' efforts and habits to profit and reimagine ways to profit from us. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video, family. Stay dangerous. Peace.